let me just ask you this straight up. If a system is 95% accurate, is that a good thing? Today, we are going to tackle one of the most misunderstood ideas in AI and machine learning, accuracy. You see it everywhere, but we're going to find out why a high accuracy score can sometimes be a wolf in sheep's clothing. And more importantly, we'll uncover the smarter tools we should be using instead. Let's get right into it. First up, let's talk about what I like to call the accuracy trap. This is where our common sense, our intuition about what makes a system good can really, really lead us astray. So let me just ask you this straight up. If a system is 95% accurate, is that a good thing? I mean, your gut reaction is probably, yeah, that sounds fantastic. But what if I told you that impressive sounding number could be hiding a total catastrophic failure? To see exactly how, let's jump into a really high stakes scenario. Picture a brand new diagnostic test for a very rare but very serious disease. The consequences of getting this wrong? Well, they're literally life and death. Okay, so here's the setup. We have a sample of 100 people. Now, because the disease is so rare, only five of those people are actually sick. The other 95 are healthy. This is what we call imbalanced data. And believe me, it happens all the time in the real world, from fraud detection to, well, medical screening. Now, imagine we have a very, very lazy diagnostic model. I mean, this piece of software doesn't even bother to look at the patient data. Its entire strategy is just to predict healthy for every single person, no matter what. It sounds completely useless, right? Well, let's do the math and calculate its accuracy. It correctly identified all 95 of the healthy people as healthy. It only got the five sick people wrong. That means it's 95% accurate. On paper, this model looks amazing. And right there, that's the trap. A 95% accuracy score sounds incredible, but this model provides absolutely zero value. In fact, it's worse than useless. It's dangerously misleading because it missed every single person who actually needed help. 